Hello Colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest transfer news for FC Barcelona. Let's start with this report claiming that manager Xavi has called up 11 Barcelona young stars for pre-season training starting on Monday. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about goalkeeper Neto who was sold last summer to Bermal in EPL as it has been revealed that Barca have paid Valencia 4 million euros in compensation for the transfer of ex-goalkeeper Neto. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona will kickstart their pre-season camp starting this Monday, the 10th of July, at the club Suita Desportiva Complex under the watchful eye of manager Xavi Hernandez and his staff as the pre-season tour is being identified as an ideal opportunity to provide La Masia talents and new signings a platform. To showcase their talents, Xavi has handpicked a bunch of young stars to feature in the pre-season. According to Javi Miguel, Angel Alacón, Marc Casado, Unai Hernandez, Fermin Lopez, Estanis Pedrola, Chadi Riyad, Lamin Yamal, Pau Prim, Mark Goyu, Makayil Faye, and Diego Cochen are the youth players called up by manager Xavi for pre season training on Monday. A few of the aforementioned names have already tested senior team football and will be looking forward to spreading their wings in a more relaxed environment. However, some names will feature with the Blaugrana senior squad for the very first time. Mikhail Faye, for example, was a recent signing by the club. Meanwhile, the likes of Fermin Lopez and Diego Cochen have yet to make the leap to senior team football. A few unexpected absences can also be observed. Most notably, Alex Garrido has missed out despite already showing promising glimpses in the first scene towards the end of last season. Due to participating in the Under-19 European Championship, he is likely to earn some rest afterwards, depending on the recruitments they make this summer. As well as the level of performances, Barcelona will determine whether or not these young players can join the rest of the senior team for the pre-season trip to the USA and then the actual campaign itself Alejandro Bade's recent rise to stardom also ensured you know after his impressive pre-season showing in the USA Gavi also showed a similar trajectory in the season prior to that on the comment as such it cannot be ruled out that Barcelona will unearth another young talent for years to come of course pre-seasons are very important you know they're very important as i've said it is it have been, it have helped a lot of young stars to to grow up to the level that they are the likes of Bade, the likes of gavi the like of nico gonzalez all these players showed their their, their, their top quality in pre-season before the manager had to bring them up and started playing them for the for the actual season and of course, we just hope that among these 10 players that manager Javi has called to kickstart preseason on Monday, July 10, at least one of them will make waves and become a very important player for us moving forward. Like, as I said, Bade was one of such examples last summer. Bade became the top choice left back, pushing Alba, who is more experienced, pushing Alba, pushing Marcos Alonso and becoming the starting 11 in the left back role. And guess what? It all started with his performances during pre-season. And the season before that, we saw the likes of Gavi, the likes of Nico Gonzalez coming into prominence when Ronald Koeman was still in charge. It all started with pre-season. And of course, that is how some players' career kickstarts. 
so it won't be the, the biggest of surprises if we see another player doing wonders among these young lads that Javi has just called upon to kickstart the preseason as early as July 10th. Let's just see how it goes. Of course, there are some senior players that they won't future at all. They are still giving time to rest and we don't expect them to be called anytime soon. So let's see how these young stars will perform because, as I said, they are, they are, in fact, they have to show what they have, the talents that they have. They have to make every opportunity given to them by manager Xavi in this preseason. But talking about the US tour, we are not saying that all of them will travel there because Xavi needs to choose who are those players to follow the team to the United States later this month for their preseason tour where they will play against Real Madrid, they will play against Juventus, they will play against um, Arsenal and they will play against AC Milan. So it's going to be an event, eventful summer for Barcelona as, as many players will have to be tested, their strengths, their weaknesses and I think it is the perfect time for many managers to evaluate their team and I think pre-season is very very important in order to kickstart the season very well. Then moving on to the final story of discussion, Barcelona have been dealt with a minor financial setback as SER has reported that the team from Catalonia are bound to pay Valencia a sum of 4 million euros you know, to transfer to the transfer of Neto Murara to Bournemouth last year. The 33-year-old stopper moved to the Premier League last summer on a free transfer making a mere 21 appearances for Barcelona over three years. The reason why Barcelona are supposed to pay Valencia the aforementioned fee is because of an extensive clause that Valencia included in his transfer when he moved to Camp Nou in 2019. In that clause, it was mentioned that Valencia are liable to receive up to 9 million euros in variables. It must be remembered that Neto joined Barca in 2019 for a fee reported to be around 26 million euros plus 9 million in add-ons. Only a day after this operation, Jasper Sedison moved the other way. In the contract signed between Barcelona and Valencia, it was established that the former would pay 9 million euros to the latter if the keeper is transferred. Out of those 9 million euros, Valencia would only receive 3 million when Barca agreed to let Neto leave for Bournemouth. Now, Valencia are due to receive 6 million, but during the months of in litigation, Barcelona argued that they were not liable to pay anything as they gave Neto a letter of freedom. They assured Valencia that they have not received any fee for the move. The Valencia management, however, responded that this termination of the contract was a very clever move from Barca as they tried to avoid paying 6 million. This agreement caused the conflict and the two parties settled through an out of court agreement. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.